I can't believe you're taking Mila's side here. You want her to move here with us and date some American boy? Why not? If that's who she chooses. Oh, so it's arranged marriage you're opposed to. No, I just understand how Neela feels. She's young, she's romantic, she wants to fall in love and make her own choices. There's many things in her life she can choose. But not the person she's supposed to love. Vimal, you must understand how frightening it is to actually be promised off to somebody that you don't... You were promised to me? Yes. And that was frightening? I didn't know you, Vimal. I didn't know you either. Yeah, and look how close I came to ruining our marriage. No, I made mistakes too. You left me. Are you... Are you sorry that we're married? No. No, I'm... I'm I, I don't think it's the wrong decision at all. I'm really happy. I'm really lucky to be married to you. But Vimma, we chose each other the second time. With arranged marriage, it could go either way. Now check your messages. No voicemail, no texts. We have to find her. Are you sure she's not in the building? No, I've looked everywhere in security lows to look for her and... I don't like this. Rama, what has she got taken? This place is locked tighter than Fort Knox. There's no way she got taken. Yeah, maybe, but she's still not here. Well, her bag is here, Rama. You know, and she can't have much money. She's around somewhere. You're right. You're right. She can't have gotten far. Unless some American pop star drove by and threw her in the back of his limousine. Demal, this is Landview, not Bollywood. I'm quite certain these things don't happen. Scarface killed your father? Yeah. And now he wants to be your father? Crazy, right? Completely. This year has totally sucked. But if Scarface killed your father... Then why isn't he in jail? Nobody wants to believe it. They'll keep making up excuses for him. All these reasons he couldn't be the killer. People make excuses for him? They're all... He was in jail and had a really tough time. That's why he couldn't be here. Scarface killed my dad, and now he's taking all my dad's stuff. Isn't that illegal? He says it's all his. He took all my dad's money, and today he showed up to take his newspaper. That's when he told me he wants me to work for him. I had to get the hell out of there. I can't let Scarface take everything. So I can't run. I'm gonna make Scarface pay. Wait! Don't go! What about me? How is it that you still have that gun? Oh, I hadn't turned it in yet when them clowns showed up and started asking about it. I wasn't about to let go of anything they wanted. I had it on me when I went in the water. I figured I could take it over to the station now and collect from McBain. What, like a hundred bucks? Oh, that's what they pay. Now look, I know they dropped charges on you already, but maybe this will seal the deal. I doubt it. Well, I haven't fired the gun. You didn't either. So this gun is clean. That should matter to somebody. You know, Louis, I made you a promise. I, I promised you that I would make it up to you for saving my life if I ever got my life back. So, uh, why don't you, uh, take this? Yeah, it's a lot more than a hundred bucks. And, uh, I'll just, uh, take the gun. Take it off your hands. I, I don't know. You need more. Okay. Um, how about that? What, what are you doing? I'm just trying to help you out. You hate guns. Well, I surely do. So, take the money, give me the gun. I'll take good care of it. Why do you want this gun back so bad? The judge was very clear. Nora had no choice but to drop the charges against Todd. I know. So then why are you wasting your time looking at him again? You're as mad as Blair was. You're damn straight I am. Why? I'm working the timeline for the murder. I'm looking at anybody who could be a possible suspect towards Victor. And I'm looking at where they were at the time. The police have already done all of those things. And they didn't get anywhere, did they? That's why I'm on the case, right? Unless you change your mind, you want to leave it up to the police again? No. No. I, I want you on the case. Ignore me. You sure you want me on the case? Yes, I'm sure. I'm sorry. I, um... I'm in a really weird mood today. <laughs> You're entitled to it. I, uh... I, um... I haven't been paying a attention. I got a lot of things to do. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I was just checking in. Relax, okay, Tan? 
Maybe, maybe I'll be able to <laughs> once I run this errand. No, oh, you're no help. Go chew on Tina's shoes. <sighs> so you, you really want to bail? Let Natalie marry Brody and, and what? Never tell them that, that Liam is really John's Look, son? I know that's not the answer, okay? But I can't face Natalie without solid proof. Well, you don't know that this is proof. I mean, it could be fake. That's true. Look, all you have to say is that is that there is a test and that you've seen it and that you just think that, you know, Natalie should get another test for Liam. So she's going to have to take my word for it the day before her wedding. You can convince her. Maybe. Well, it's all you can do. You have to try. You're right. You're right. I'm just going to tell her what I know, and then it's in Natalie's hands. Okay, John, I'm, I'm listening. Are you? Yes, I am. Please, will you just tell me how you feel? Yeah. Hey! What's going on? Oh, God, no. Go, close your eyes. What? Oh, my dress. You're not supposed to see it. What was that about? I guess she didn't want you seeing her in the dress. Before that? Well, Natalie and I were just talking. I thought she had the day off. Is there some case that couldn't wait? It was personal. Yeah? Maybe it's time for that to stop. <laughs>